We are here today um, in Donauwörth in the factory um, Airbus helicopter. We are proposing the H-145M as a multi-role aircraft, um, um, especially also with the attack capability and um, um, bringing not only the, the weapon integration, but also the full connectivity, military net-centric warfare capability on the aircraft um, using the communication system and the, the, the management, the battlefield management system, which is um, installed and integrated in this aircraft. The H145M is a 3.8 ton uh, light twin aircraft and, um, and with its basic capability as a utility aircraft it was used to develop a full multi-role military aircraft. Multi-role um, starts with utility missions, um, search and rescue missions, uh, um, transport missions, but also um, um, cumulating in what we call attack variant of the aircraft. And the configuration you see here today is an attack, a fully configured attack aircraft H145M with the H4 system. So we have a, carrying, a weapon carrying capability left and right, externally, um, 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 two times 200 kilograms um, on a standard NATO um, interface. And um, currently we have integrated and qualified uh, three different um, weapons, unguided rocket with a laser guided rocket capability. We have a 20 millimeter cannon pod and a 12.7 millimeter gun pod. In addition, while we're speaking, we're integrating for an export customer, also dedicated um, government um, furnished equipment. The um, H4 system is designed to integrate a full range um, of weapons, starting with uh, standard ballistic weapons, but also laser-guided rockets, as well as missiles, anti-tank missiles. And the system is prepared to be agnostic for different missiles um, and weapon systems uh, to be integrated. Flying the aircraft is, an, uh, is a very nice experience. The aircraft is very agile, has a lot of power, uh, maybe the most power in its class at the moment. The aircraft has a rigid rotor system. It's actually the same rotor system as being used on the BO-105, which we all know from the Red Bull uh, videos, uh, being a very agile aircraft as well. I would say it's a very powerful uh, multi-mission uh, helicopter. The um, advantages are um, on the starting with the size of the aircraft. It's a 3.8 ton aircraft. Um, having a very high payload capability, so the empty weight is low um, as compared to its payload capability. It is a, what we call the commercial derivative aircraft, CDA, um, stemming from a very successful line um, of um, H145. In putting a military uh, version out on the market, we can also offer for the military a very capable aircraft, which can do about 85% of all missions you can do with a more sophisticated specialized military uh, helicopter but uh, to a much cheaper price. This is one of the main advantages. The other one is uh, as it is a very mature program which is tried and tested by hundreds of customers uh, all over the world it's also very reliable and you have an availability above 90 percent which is unprecedented in military equipment. Yeah, the, the missions, that's I think one of the biggest benefits of this aircraft is the, the re-roll ability of this aircraft. At the moment it is equipped with the H4 system, with the weapon systems, but it can be very easily uh, re-rolled in a matter of hours to, for example, troop transport. The entire cabin is still free. The orange equipment you see here is flight test equipment, which normally is not there. So the entire cabin uh, seats can be installed within a matter of minutes and you can uh, re-roll the aircraft uh, for troop transport. You can use the same attachment points where you, you now uh, mount the, uh, the weapon system to mount a hoist and then you can, put up, uh, you can fly a hoist mission. So that's a very big advantage of this aircraft is that you can use the same aircraft for a lot of different missions. Low cost of ownership, size, um, and, and, and performance. So the combination from our point of view, we believe that the balance is ideal um, for a lot of armed forces in the world. is um, um, the main factory in, in Germany, where we are building in serial production um, the EC-135, um, uh, H-135, the H-145, um, as well as the NH-90 um, as, the main, as the main industrial activity. And out of these serial um, production, we're also building the military variant, the military derivative, the H-145M, here in Donauwörth in Germany.